Hello, what's up? First of all, thank you all for your support. For the past few days, we have been very busy working in the Circle Party series. If you haven't seen those series yet, I will link it down in the description. Do not forget to watch it. So in the last video, we had did the unboxing of the DJI Pocket 2. And in this video, we are going to be reviewing it. So let's get started. First of all, to turn on the DJI Pocket 2, you see this button over here. You have to be clicking it. And then, it will turn on. It's as simple. And after that, now let's connect it to the app. So to connect the DJI Pocket 2 to the mobile, you will be needing to install the DJI Memo app which I have already installed in my mobile device so after you open the device and then you go to DJ Momo app on the top you see in case you have not repaired the device after you are on it it's going to be displayed on the app you can connect and then keep searching and then once you have paired it you have to find the name and then you give connect it starts connecting so you wait after it says connection successful, you are set to go. So now we have the device connected to the mobile. So now you can use the mobile as a screen. As the screen in the DJ Pocket 2 is very small, you can use it, you can use the device as a screen. Now you have all control over the pocket with this. So now it's very easy to set it up. We got it all connected. So now let's talk about the pocket. First of all, all the Pocket 1s are going in insane sale. It's because the DJI Pocket 2 is way better in all the ways. First of all, the sensor in the DJI Pocket 2 is bigger than the previous one. And then you get this joystick, which is also very convenient. And then let's talk about the accessories. So now I got the tripod installed with the DJI Pocket 2, as you can see over here. And then we have got the joystick, which is the joystick and the mode changer. And then this button you see over here, it used to record. This one is to change the modes between the pocket two. And then this one you see over here, this is the wide angle lens for the pocket two. This is very, very simple to install. Just take it, take it near the lens, and just do that. After you do that, You'll get an indication on the device that wide angle lens installed. So once you get that, you can make sure that the, D, the wide angle lens is installed on the DJI Pocket 2. In case you don't want to connect the device to the pocket wirelessly, you got this Type C convert, Type C adapter or connector. You will even have an iOS connector also, which I'm not going to be using now as my device is a Type C port. So it's very simple, just take the joystick, pop it out, keep it aside and then take the Type-C connector, keep it right there and then insert it into the slot. Once you're done, once you're done with that, you can just take your device like this and just insert it right there. You'll get a pop-up message and it'll directly take it all right there. This one is mostly useful to have lagless connectivity. So yeah, that's it. But then I prefer to go wireless because I don't feel my port to be very safe when you connect it to this because my port can get damaged, which will be costing me a lot. So I prefer going wirelessly. So let's just keep it aside. You have to be careful with the wide angle lens because this is connected to the main lens through a magnet. This magnet, I won't say it's too strong because it's just like that and it stays there and you tap it a little bit, it's gonna fall. So be careful with that. It's a very minute thing though. So you gotta be very careful with the wide angle lens. So let's put it back on. And let's put the joystick back as we don't need the Type-C connector right now. You just go like that and that's it so now let's find the device again that's it let's do the same 
So now let's take a look at what does all these buttons do. So you, you see this small button over here. When you triple tap it, it's going to turn over. As that's going to work only when you're not connected to the device. As we are now connected to a mobile device, you see this button, this button over here. You click that, it's going to turn over. And this is used to take selfie videos or photos. And click it again, it's going to turn frame. And in case you move the joystick somewhere by mistake and you want to center it back, you click on this one over here. Imagine you just go like this, just pull it away by mistake. And let's click this, it's going to come back to the center on its own. So now, let's see what all of the modes. First of all, you get this thing called panel, which is nothing but a panoramic shot. For example, we take a 180 degree panel right now. You focus it on wherever you want, and then you click the shutter button, and then it just takes it all on its own. So you can see right now, it'll take a few seconds, and then. Here we go. This is the panoramic shot. It's a 180 degree panoramic shot, which means it's a very linear, a straight angle shot. And then we have another panoramic shot, which is a 3x3, three three, which means a 3x3 three three grid, right? 3x3, three 9. So we again, we go here, we change to 3x3, three three, and again we click the shutter button, and it takes top 3 middle 3 and then bottom 3 and merges it all into one single photo. It looks like a complex process but then this does it in a jiffy. And that's it. We have a 3x3 three three over here. This is a 3x3 three three panel. And then you have to click over here to view it. So now if you see this is a 3x3 three three panel and this is the 180 degree panel. So now we are done with panel from its shots and then we go to photo. So now in photo we can change the megapixels over here. We have 16 megapixels. And then you have 64 megapixels. You only can change the frame, which is 4 is to 3 ratio and 16 is to 9 ratio. So it's very simple. In case you want to take a group photo and you need some time to arrange yourselves, no problem, we card over here. We have the timer settings over here, so we change the timings. They are off. And then we have a 3 seconds timer, 5 seconds timer, and 7 seconds timer. So after you set the timer, you want to take a wide angle group photo. You click the trigger, you have 7 seconds to arrange yourself, and then we have a clean 64 megapixel photo. This thing is very convenient. So now let's move on to video. So, when you want to video, you want to take it in auto or in manual. So, it's probably here on top. So, now it's in auto, ma auto mode, and then when, if you want to change it to manual, it's very simple. Just tap it, tap on the M on top. And then you can change ISO, the shutter value, and the ED. I prefer going auto because I'm not a very big professional. I'm just learning it. So I go with auto for a few days. I go with man. And then here is how you change the quality. Now it's in 1080p, 60 frames per second. And then we even have 2.7K, 60 frames per second. They have all the way from 24 to 60. And then we have the best, the 4K, 4K and 60 frames per second. This thing is very good. It gets the best quality video as well as the photo. So now let's move on to the next mode, which is the slow motion mode. So the slow motion will be in 4x speed, which is also changeable. So you just click here. Actually, slow motion is not changeable. It's only in 1080p and 4x speed. So that's all about in slow mo. And then we have time lapse. So in this time lapse, you can actually choose the direction. In case you want to check a sunset or sunrise, 
you just want to set the uh, like from left to right fixed angle left to right and then custom motion you can add you can just change the motions like from here we have to go to custom motion and as in time lapse we have to check the intervals because time lapse takes a every photo within that time interval and merges them all into a single video so first option is the total duration of the video 5 minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes 1 hour 2 hours 3 hours and 5 hours and in the intervals we have 0.5 seconds 1 second 2 seconds 3 seconds 4 seconds 5 seconds 6 7 and all the way to 60 seconds which is nothing but a minute so now that's all about time lapse and then we have this thing called hyperlapse which is nothing but a fast fast video which is in 330x speed that's gonna be super fast and this thing has the quality of 1080p and 30 frames per second this doesn't come with 60 frames per second it comes only with 30 frames per second and this thing is changeable it can go from 1080p to 27 to 4k so that's all with the modes now let's talk about the battery life this takes about an hour to get fully charged from all the way to from all the way zero to hundred percent and once it's fully charged you can use it for about one hour about 45 minutes one hour 45 minutes to two hours depends on your use so that's all about the pocket now let's talk about the accessory which come with the pocket so first is the tripod and then is the wide angle lens and then this is the mic which comes with this dead cat on top this is used to detect and reduce the wind noise or the obstructing noise it's very simple to install you have these two clips over here and like sockets over here just align them together and just click them and now this clip which goes onto the which just clicks in the uh, wherever you want to hold the mic and this uses type 3 charger to charge itself even the pocket uses type 3 charger to charge itself also over here so now actually the pocket isn't so big the pocket actually is just this size this is the wi-fi dongle or the do it, do it all handle which helps you connect it with the mic as well as an aux cable and the charging port so then this pocket 2 comes with four stereo mics one on this side one in the front one on the right side and one on the back so it comes with four stereo mics and then uh, this is the carrying case which will house all the parts as well as the pocket 2 so this two compartments over here you see this is for the holders for the connectors so just take the connectors like this take the back you see the solid part keep them right there and just push it in it's going to get locked in place just like that then storing the wide angle lens you take the wide angle lens you see the socket it's written wide angle lens over there just take it and click it over there it gets attached to the magnet and then for the tripod part it's over here you can see over here the hole so just this that detach it from the pocket keep the pocket like this fold the tripod and take it and just place it right in there and keep the tripod right there and then take the pocket so once you close the pocket it's gonna go to the position like this so you take it just like that make sure that the motors are pressed near this yellow sponge so that it doesn't get damaged and then take the mic slide it right on top so that's how we house all the parts and the pocket so yeah guys that's all for this video in the next video we're gonna be seeing how to connect the mic to the pocket too and how to use active track and maybe a few sample videos and most importantly, how is this going to be useful for vloggers and beginner YouTubers? 
So if you found this video interesting, please do consider liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing and turning on post notifications. See you all next time. Bye.